Good morning, welcome to the weekend. I've literally spent the last 25 minutes looking for this camera to find out that Ash put it on the bookcase. Why? Why would you do that? That's not where cameras live. Um, so, update for the weekend. We have no internet. Well, I have my phone internet. We've got no Wi-Fi, it's stressful. Don't know what to do with myself. It's been snowing in the UK. Most of it's gone-ish. Um, it was really thick yesterday, but it's all melty now, so it's pretty much almost gone. I'll show you what we've got left. So, it's very, um, it's still a little bit snowy out there, but most of it's gone. This was like thick snow, like you couldn't even, so there's my car down there. You couldn't even see the top of my car yesterday. It's completely covered. So, uh, yeah, it's been an interesting one. <laughs> but it seems to be gone, so I hopefully can walk on it today. Because I need to go to the estate agent today and take my passport in. The issue is I'm not really sure where my passport is. Um, so I've got to find that at some point. So, I'm going to have some breakfast. Ash has gone to meet his mum in town for lunch. He's going to come back here and meet me, and I'm going to go in to take those in. And then I need to do some packing today because the boxes should start arriving so I can start organising things. I already have a pile of charity stuff which I need to go through. So yeah, and just tidy up a bit. So that's the plan for today really. So I got myself a ring on Valentine's Day just to treat myself. Um, I actually got it with vouchers I had so it's not like I spent any money. But it's arrived and I don't know if I like it or not so I'll get your opinion. This is something I used to really hate about Thomas Sabo. All this packaging for the tiniest thing. And then just put it in the box. Like, just put it in the... Ooh, the box is different. Oh, it's not even got a box. It's got a pouch. A teeny tiny pouch. Yeah, these are for charms, Thomas Sabo. Well done, thank you for that. Didn't even give me a ring box. Whatevs. Not that I'm bitter about being made redundant or anything. We'll just leave that. <laughs> anyway, the ring I got is this one and it's got like starfish on it. Let me get it out. I'm gonna be able to get it out one handed. We're gonna give it a go. Oh, this is not going as well as I would have hoped. Oh, this is going actually quite well. There we go. Hold on, hold on. There we go. So it's got, is it gonna focus on it? Focus, focus. There we go. Excuse my nails because I took my gel nails off and they've like destroyed my actual nails, so I need to get gels on again. But it has little sparkly starfish on the way around. So it's got some plain ones, some sparkly ones. I'm not sure how I feel about it being like all different sizes. Let's put it on. Probably won't wear it on this finger, but I know I can. There we go. I probably won't wear it on this finger, I just know I can get it on there. I'm not sure about it, you know. It always feels really weird seeing my hands with think rings on, because I haven't worn rings in ages. And this is like my broken finger. That's not really gross for you. Look at that finger, it broke, like, at some point in my life, so it's kind of gone a bit funny. So, sorry to creep you out there, guys, but, um, so it probably isn't going to go on this finger, it's just that was the easiest one for me to quickly slip it on. Um... I don't love it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. What do you think? I can put it on eBay if I don't like it because I've already spent vouchers. I don't really want to get more vouchers back, and I think I've actually thrown that voucher away. Um, I'm not sure. I think I might get rid of it. I don't know. I just don't. I don't know. I don't know. I have other rings, I just don't know if I like this ring. I'll think about it today, but let me know what you think. It's not in focus for any of this footage. Let me know if you think I should keep it or not. I'm not bothered if I don't, because if I don't, I can just sell it and get money for it, so it's not the end of the world. But uh, yeah, that's what I picked up. And then it's a girl's uh, work's birthday on Monday, and I was given the money to get her the present she wanted, and she's obsessed with the Little Mermaid. Like, she's got a Little Mermaid tattoo, and she loves it. So we picked this out for her. I saw her looking at it on the website and uh, I was like, oh, she's like, can you get this in Florida for me? And I was like, I know you can get it in the UK, so I'm gonna pick it up for you there. And it's the Disney Lego series, Disney Princesses. And uh, yeah, I know this is like five to 12, but that's fine. 
Um, it's got Ursula in it and Flounder and Ariel and it's got this like chamber in the back where um, you can, is it going to show me a picture? Yeah, so if you, you can put her in it, I believe you can twist it or something and then she comes out with feet. How good is that? Mm. It's got like, I love it. It's got the scroll and she's got a pen. I thought it was really cool. Oh, look at the accessories it comes with. Hairbrush. What is that red thing? What is this? Oh, it's not going to focus. What is that red and grey thing? Lipstick. So yeah, I need to wrap this this weekend because we're going to give it to her on Monday. So that's another thing. I picked this up on Amazon. Amazon Prime. And actually it came on Friday. It arrived on Amazon Prime, which I was really impressed with because if you saw the weather on Friday, it should definitely not have arrived. So well done, Amazon. Pat on the back there. I know I'm going to regret not putting makeup on or doing my hair before filming this, but never mind. I'll never learn. Um, I just kind of want to give you guys a quick update on what's going on. Uh, obviously last weekend I was talking about we were going house hunting, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so we found a flat that we really like. And I say we, I mean me and Ash. Um, this has been a bit of a weird one because a lot of people have been asking me about this. Friends, family and actual people from the internet. Um... Why are you moving in with your ex? I'll be completely honest with you. Ash is and probably always will be one of my best friends. We just get on so well. Just because our relationship didn't work out, it kind of naturally just didn't work out, doesn't mean that we're not friends anymore. And I think the way that we've really made this work is when we broke up, we made sure that we were, you know, we were broken up. We don't, you know, we're not romantic with each other anymore. We're just friends and... It was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. It was really hard to start with, but I think not having him be part of my life was scarier than having him be part of my life as a friend. Um, someone that I can support and I know always have my back. And um, yeah, it just, it's working really well. And I know a lot of people have been a bit like, oh, especially like a few people at my work, when I've told them, I was like, oh yeah, me and my ex are moving in together. Um, Another thing that we've made really sort of clear when we were looking for places is that there was two bedrooms and they were two reasonable sized bedrooms so we get one each. We have our own space, it's two bathrooms so that's all good, sorted and um, yeah we're really happy with it. So you know I, I've known him for six, seven years now so it's not like He's a new person in my life. As I said, we've always been friends. We will continue to be friends. He isn't in the vlogs, not because of there being like any weirdness between us. It's just because I think for me and for him and for you guys, it's easier to just cut him out to start with and just get used to the adjustment of it just being me. Um, and then like when he's about he can help me with bits and do things but him not be as much in the content as he was before. Um, I just want to make it clear, obviously not in a mean way or anything like that, that we are really good friends. I really appreciate everyone asking how he is. I let him know because you know he, he is, well he's not here right now, he's gone out for lunch. But he is here living with me. We're still very close. We still hang out a lot. Like there's nothing bad there's no it's not weird it actually felt okay to be friends I think we're at the point in our relationship where we are best friends but you know we're not romantically associated anymore and that's fine like we're both come finally coming to terms with that and that's okay and we just know we can live together we've lived together for so long that the things that i do that are annoying the things that he does that are annoying we understand and we've got used to i just don't know how i would want to move in with a stranger and it just all live on my own where it's really expensive so this works out the best for us and we're both really happy with the arrangement it means we don't have to separate our furniture and things like that it just really works out perfectly so that is what's happening we are we have found a place we're slowly getting it sorted we are staying living together so he will be about still um and yeah i just thought it was uh it would be nice to give you guys an update i didn't feel i needed to i just thought it would be useful for you guys to understand the situation a little bit more because i know a lot of people are like 
well, why are you still living together? Or what's happened? Or are you getting back together? Blah, 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 blah. No, we are, I can put my foot down wholeheartedly and say we won't be getting back together. I'm one of those people that believe that if a relationship has ended and it's got to the point where it had ended, that that's really something that you should have spent a long time thinking about and not something that you should be able to just easily come back from because of the fact that you should have been able to work to it. Up to, I, I, I haven't had that many relationships in my life, so that could be bad logic, but that's how I feel. And I feel actually, now that we've broken up, I feel that we are much better as friends. Um, and that's perfect, you know. So that's how we're going to keep it currently. And uh, I know everyone's like, we want you to get back together. That's great, but I hope that you're happy for me and him, that we're both friends in this situation and that we understand. Like, I'm still really close with his family. I will probably continue to be close with his family. He's close with mine. We're just really good friends and I think that's how we're going to keep it and I'm, I'm happy with that arrangement. So uh, I hope you guys are too. Know that that's kind of okay. We're okay with each other. We, we hang out, we watch TV together, we do th we basically do everything that we did before when it comes to hanging out. Just nothing romantic, which is fine because we're not really romantic people anyway. Um, but that could be because of we were together. You just don't know. You don't know until it's happened, but we're happy. We're good, we're both good. Don't worry about it, we're okay. Um, you know, he's excited for my trip to Florida. Obviously he'd have loved to have come, but I think when we, I booked it for myself, it, if we're really gonna make this friendship work, we need to make sure those boundaries of being friends is there. And I think a holiday that we booked as a couple for me would not have necessarily been that healthy to go on not as a couple because it just, I don't know, it just, in my head, it just isn't, it didn't feel right. It might not logically, it might logically be fine, it just didn't feel right. I was like, this is something I think I need to do on my own. Just rediscover myself and come back to it a more rounded person. So, yes, everything is good in that front. House is getting sorted, it's always going to be a stress for a couple of weeks while we move, but, like, things are slowly coming back together so um we're both good don't worry about us we're okie dokie um one good thing about us moving is i have to do a ton of decluttering so if you're a fan of decluttering videos we would have a lot of those um so i'm just currently we finally got internet back yes so i'm um going through replying to comments i did have a video that was meant to go up last night obviously i couldn't upload because there was no internet here and I couldn't go anywhere to get any because of the snow, everything was closed, was, everything was closed. So I was looking at it today and actually to be honest, I think I can do a better job with it. Like I was looking at it, I'm really trying to focus on making better content and putting more effort in. Because I have been in the terrible habit for a long time of the video that goes up on Friday, I would have filmed Thursday evening and that just isn't, no, that's not good enough because I can't be as creative with them or be as good with the editing because I'm rushing it. So that's not what I want to be doing. So I'm actually going to probably refilm that one and have it got this Friday because I really want to put a lot more effort into it. And yeah, so apologies, there's no video on Friday, but I just, I just need to make, I need to make a change and make it work. I want to be proud of every video I put on this channel and not just put one up because I have to and it's a Friday and I need to put something out. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. And obviously we're moving soon. I need to really start doing my Florida videos because we're running out of Fridays in the till holiday. It's less than two months till I go now, people. Less than two months. I'm so excited. As you, I've had caffeine, I'm really sorry. I've had some Coke this morning, uh, Coca-Cola. <laughs> I don't know, I always have to clarify that. Like I'm some drug, drug addict that's just sitting here sniffing cocaine. I've had some, technically I've had Pepsi Max this morning. And if you know me, which I feel a lot of you do if you've been watching a while, you know me more than most people do. Caffeine doesn't agree with me because I don't drink tea or coffee. So whenever I have like Pepsi or sugar, it just, um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you more later, but I feel that we need to have some breaks in between the long chat. So, gonna do some typey typey, and I'll get back for some talky talky. Okay, see you in a bit. I spoke really fast. <laughs>
I think I'm gonna do a little bit more organizing. Ugh. So we have this cupboard in the kitchen that I'm not really sure what's in it because it's a bit high. So I've got a chair. This is definitely not gonna go well, is it? Hold on. Okay, we're up on the chair. Oh, that light's bright. <laughs> um, let's open the cupboard. So yeah, if I show it to you. It's basically up here. Um, so this is where Ash keeps all of his hot sauces, which is a lot of them. And then up here, it's just stuff that we can't really reach. So I'm not entirely sure what's up here. So I'm gonna pull it all out and see, and then we can see what we wanna keep. Yeah, so this cupboard had a weird collection of things. So the first thing I found was this. Um, I don't know if you can tell in the picture, it's all discolored. And it's basically, it was when Coke was doing the campaign with people, sorry, the washing machine's on, it's a bit loud. But it was for when Coke was doing the campaign with your names on. This expired in 2013 and I kept it because I was like, oh, that'd be really cool because I can keep it and have my name on it. Yeah, it's gone funny, so I'm going to throw that away. I could just keep the, like, the thing, I'm not, the label or the box, the um, bottle, but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to throw the, oh, maybe. <laughs> I just instantly changed my mind. Okay, what else can we got out? So the first things I pulled out were these. They're from Bush Gardens. And I can't honestly remember how much they hold, but it's like a lot. This is my hand. Um, I can't remember why we got these, but Ash's ice pack in his went funny, so he threw his ice pack out, but it's still pretty ridiculous. I'm just going to show him this and see if he remembers it. So I'm going to keep these because they're amazing. The next thing I got was this. It definitely needs a clean because I think it's something spilled on it. I actually got this when I was doing my program then. I worked Animal Kingdom you're given like a pack and this was in the pack that you got given it's all kind of scratched off now but it's got sentimental value it's also got a hole in it oh the hole doesn't go all the way through I was like that's silly I don't know why there's a hole there um but yeah I've got that so I'm gonna keep that got these cups from the Hard Rock Hotel so I'm probably just gonna keep one and then throw away the other one um we have some Creme brulee Kit Kats from Japan. Uh, we really need to eat these. How many's left? There's still quite a few in there. I'll let Ash know about that. This I got Ash like when we first started dating because he was really into cameras and I was like, lol, this is when these weren't that big and not everyone had them, I'd like to point out, because they're like, everyone gets them at Christmas now, but it's um, a mug that's shaped like a lens cap. He probably wants us to throw this away now because we've never drunk out. <laughs> Next thing we have is some Twinings apple and pear. Smell these. They smell really good, but I think they're really out of date. What's the date on them? Yeah, July 2017. So we're gonna throw these away. Next up we have some, bear in mind we don't really drink tea, it's for when we have guests over. So, oh my God. Okay, some Kenyan tea bags from Waitrose. Expired in August 2015, so they're gonna go in the bin. So these we picked up in Florida. They've definitely already expired, but I just don't even care. Um, they are strawberry lemonade and cool lime refreshers. And we need to drink these a lot more. But um, I don't even care they've gone out of date because I still really want them. So I'm gonna keep those. Next up is a jar of Marmite with my name on it, which I'm obviously gonna keep because this is incredible. So I'll leave that there. I have another one of these like cinema mugs with Baymax on the top. I might keep this one, I'm not sure. Or I might get rid of it with the Wreck-It Ralph one. I haven't decided yet. Oh, this comes off. Oh, I could just keep Baymax. Oh, that might be perfect. I might have, I didn't even realise that came off. We'll put him back on there for now. Oh, no, Baymax. Next up is coffee filters, um, which we mainly use for when we're straining vodka. <laughs> then we have a massive thing from Costco of options. Um, which I'll be drinking a bit more of now that I'm on Semi World, and then we have a whole box of strawberry. Oh, there's not too many left. Just strawberry Kit Kats. So uh, I need to get on and eat those because I'm pretty sure they're out of date too. And the last thing that was in there was this chocolate frog box with my card, which is Salazar Slytherin. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this. I've already got one somewhere else, I believe. So I might throw this away. But I got this from Florida um, a little while ago. Oh no, this is from the studios tour from the UK. Hmm, interesting. I'll probably throw it away and get another one when I'm in Florida. And that's everything in the cupboard, so I'm just going to sort that out and then put back in the things we're going to keep. 
um, and just kind of trying to start to sort things through. So for dinner tonight, I'm having some um, Marks and Spencer's skinny be burgers. Um, I'm having two because I'm not having anything like on them or buns or anything. And I'm being really greedy. Then I'm having some new potatoes. And then in the oven, I've got some corn. And then I'm going to have some um, what are these, sugar snack peas with them as well. I'm going to steam those. Um, and then under this, obviously, I've got some oil. So all I'm using is fry light. So yeah, reasonably healthy, slimming world friendly dinner. Did I say? I can't remember if I did. So Slimming World has not been going massively well. When all the stress of the house move happened, I was just like, do you know what? Not today. <laughs> I kind of stopped for a little while. And now that the holiday is less than two months away, on the 1st of March, I was like, right, that's it. Mm -mm. You have two months, girl. So I am kind of trying to do it for two months with like limited to almost no sins and just going mental with the SP days and things like that. I mean, I will have some sins, obviously, in my food, like I've been using butter and things like that, but mm -mm, we're not having chocolates, we're not having sweets, we're just powering through because of all the bad food I can eat in Florida, we'll lose as much weight before then as possible. So we're on day three. It's been quite stressful already. I'm craving all the candy and sweets and chocolates, but just thinking about all the food I'm gonna eat when I'm out there makes it worth it. So yes, all my food basically until holiday is gonna be like 100% Slimming World. Um, apart from I am going out for a dinner on Saturday, but I'm gonna try and pick something reasonably healthy. And uh, yeah, so this is it. If you see me eating anything non Slimming World friendly or not healthy, shout at me, because we need to do this for holiday. And I'll give you a rundown each week of where I'm at. So obviously this week, I'm, there's no point telling you because I've not lost anything yet, but then next week I'll give you an update and we'll do it that way. Okay, just thought I'd share. Good morning, it is Sunday and i have just got up had a shower and now i'm gonna have some breakfast um i'm not sure what to have i might have some wheat bix with a banana or i've got sausages i could have sausages i suppose i haven't got anything to have with them i haven't got any eggs um i might need to go to the shop in a bit if i'm honest what have i got I've got beans got sausage and beans not got any bread or anything so I think I'm gonna to stick to my Weetabix this morning and then we'll go to get some food in a bit. Um, yeah, let's have some food and then we can decide what we're gonna do with the day. So I spent literally forever yesterday looking for my passport um, and the one place I didn't look was my passport holder because I thought that wouldn't be the place a passport would live. It's totally where my passport is. So my passport holder is a pineapple. It's from Paper Chase, but I actually got my passport updated a couple of months ago. And I'm obviously not going to show you any of like the information of me, but I want to show you some of the pages because they're really cool now. So each page has kind of got this like cool design on it. I can't show you the bottom of the page, it's got my passport number on, but to give you an idea, it's like a different scene on each page. Is London, I think, <laughs> post office. I think it's just different bits about. I don't know what the numbers mean, oh it's the page number, is it 20? Yeah. And um, you've got this place, wherever that is. There's like the um, millennium -y thing that was there for, I'm just really explaining this well. It was there for, uh, it's like the theatre in the round, the Tudor one. So I thought it was really cool, so it just has like different things on it, there's the underground. And it's got this one as well, which is really cool, I just thought it was really cool. Um, that it's got different things on each page. I'm assuming the stamps go in these like bits here. They've got that on each page. Yeah. So people in the immigration offices put the stamps in the gaps, please, so that I can keep the pictures looking nice. Thank you. So yeah, that is uh, my passport. I just need to update my um, Esther. Is it Esther? E S T A Esther. Um, because obviously I've changed hotels since I booked it, so I just need to update that, which I'm gonna do now. So I've just spent a lot of, well, most of the day so far, just listing stuff on eBay, because most of the stuff that I put up before sold. So um, I did that, and then I've been cleaning cups to go to the charity, so there's a few of them in the dishwasher at the moment, because I want them to be nice and clean when I send them to the charity shop. And 
gonna have some lunch and then the next thing I want to do is maybe go through some of my clothes in the wardrobe and like again pull out ones I don't think I want make sure they're clean so I can box stuff up and get ready to take the charity shop so for lunch today I'm just gonna have a pasta and sauce with broccoli and cheese um I'm not a huge fan of cheese but I don't think this actually tastes like cheese it's just more of a creamy sauce so I'm gonna make that and then we'll go through the wardrobe um, it's kind of a chill out day today, although it has been for a couple of weekends now. Um, just trying to sort things out, get ready for the move. We were meant to have boxes arrive today um, to pack our stuff into, but they didn't turn up because of the snow, so that's a bit annoying. So we can't really get on with fully packing yet, but whatever I can do now, a little bit will make it a bit easier, a bit further down the road, I think. So I'm going to do that. And then yeah, just continue to kind of sort through things slowly. So my face has been feeling pretty gross today. So I think I'm gonna do a face mask. Um, you're currently sitting in my cupboard in my bathroom, hello. Um, what do I have? I've got a few origin ones. Let's pull those out. Got refreshing face mask to wake up tired skin, which is like the gin, gin zing. Got this one which is a drink up intensive overnight mask so I probably won't be using that one and the other one I've got is a 10 minute um, mask to call out trouble it, to rescue problem skin so it's going to be one of these two I think I'm going to go for the problem skin one just because I've not had the best skin is there any actually in here? <laughs> squeeze what's it called? It smells like, um, like Vicks vapor rub. I'm using you as a mirror as well because I've had to open the mirrors to uh, get in here. Are you watching Mission Impossible? Ash? Uh, Are you watching Mission Impossible? Yeah. <laughs> Which one? Five. Five? Is that the one with, um, the guy from Hot the He's in four out of five, I think. Which one's five? Is that the one where he goes in the water and they have to dive for ages? Yeah. Oh, okay, I like that one. Is that the one with the Burj Khalifa? Maybe I mean that was four. I don't really remember. I don't remember. <laughs> the new one's coming out soon, isn't it? Yeah. Don't know if you can hear the music, but do do this is terrifying to look at by the way I understand that this is but I thought it'd be better if you saw me put it on rather than I just start filming looking crazy it is literally terrifying you just lose all facial features not features but like I think that's pretty much it to do it under my chin Okay, I think that's good. It's a bit patchy, but I don't know how thick it's meant to be. That'll be fine. Cool, now we just need to wait for this to dry. This is definitely gonna be my <laughs> creepy fun now just be going like... <laughs> okay, let's go back to watching vlogs. I'm currently on, um, I didn't even tell you I was watching vlogs. Oh, I look terrifying. <laughs> I'm watching Eleanor Dreaming's most recent Florida vlogs at the moment and uh, looking really creepy. This is terrifying. Oh my God, then when my eyes disappeared, hold on. Let's bring it again into darkness. Oh, I didn't do it. It's terrifying. I feel like Pennywise. <laughs> I'm going to pick one of these to light for the lounge while I'm sitting in here. And I kind of think I want it to be one that's like a bit more meh. Because um, I've already had one lit earlier. I think it's either going to be Writer's Stop or Animation Hall. I think they're the two that I'm most like meh about. I think I'm going to go for Writer's Small. Let me smell them, hold on. Because basically I have one in here and it's really annoying me. I want to put them both. I want to have just two fill one, full ones. So I want to use one up. So um, I'm going to smell them really quick. The one I've actually decided to go for is Jumbo House. 
I just smelt it again and like wasn't in love, so I'm gonna light this one. So I'm just gonna put it on here, just so it doesn't burn the table. And then... The shakiest hands when I'm lighting this. I promise I'm not the shaky in real life. Oh, that didn't even work, brilliant. Burn! There we go. So I'm gonna light this one. That there, and I've... Have I used up all of these? I think I've transferred quite a lot of them over, but I'm gonna throw away this box now. So I still have uh, these ones. So I'm really excited to Main Street Bakery and Space Rebirth and the Caramel um, the Cooch. And I also have this lot. Again, these are just kind of mixed up. I'm excited for Writer's Stop. And actually I really liked Animation Hall. I just smelt it, so that surprised me. Um, I still have these two sets left. So these will come with us when we move. I just wanted to use up the last of one of the boxes, just so it's a little bit. I don't basically have to take a whole box just for one um, candle. So I'm gonna smell, these actually smell really strong, so I'm really impressed with these. I might get a full size candle. And I think if I do, I'm gonna go for Main Street Bakery because that smells amazing. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm uh, doing. I've got my face mask on. And I'm just kind of putting some more stuff on eBay, as I said earlier. I'm going to try and just do as much as I can, um, just so I can make a bit more money for holiday. So as I said the other day, sorry, the dish, the um, washing machine's on. Um, I've started sorting out a few bits for the charity shop. This is just a couple of the mugs that I've got. But what I'm going to do is just wrap them in this, like, paper. Um, I got it for my Christmas ball balls. It's like the paper you get when you go to a shop and they wrap it up for you. Um, so I'm going to wrap it in that to make it a little bit easier to carry them all and I can put them in the same bag. Um, I'm just going to wrap the ones that we've kind of sorted so far. So for dinner tonight I have um, like a big side salad which I've put a tiny bit of fat free dressing on, just a vinaigrette. Um, oh no that's now stuck on my fork. Get off. Um, some new potatoes and then some um, Marks and Spencer's skinny sausages. I used fry light and they just burnt so... <laughs> They don't look the best, but I'm sure hopefully they'll taste nice. Um, so this is my dinner tonight. Probably, yeah, salad's probably a day out older than I'd like it to be, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm just editing the vlog for this weekend, and all I can see is the brownies. And it's making me really hungry. It's not the best when you're trying to be healthy eating. Um, but luckily this is all done now. I'm just putting the audio through. Oh, that went bright. I'm putting the audio through audition. And then um, I need to do a thumbnail and then I'm done. So yes, I'm going to continue doing that and then I will catch up with you once I've finished. For my thumbnail, I'm going to use a picture of the brownies I made. Um, I don't know which one to go for. So we have like pre-cut brownies. We have pile of brownies or we have pile of brownies with my hand in. They don't look particularly great in this camera that you're looking at, but on the screen look pretty good. I'm thinking the one maybe with my hand in. Honestly don't know, I'm not good at this whole thumbnail fiasco. Well there's like the one before it's cut. Hmm, I think maybe this one. Then I can just crop my hand out a little bit. And go or this one and go real zoomed in. Let's try a few different ones, hold on. Okay, I've just also realized that you guys aren't gonna be able to help me because this will be up before, but this is option number one. I think I might actually move it down slightly, like that. Okay, so then option number two is this one. Again, I think there might be a little bit. I might need to tweak the positioning of that. I just don't like my hand in it. I think it looks a bit weird. It's actually probably not that one. Or, oh, that's one we've seen. Uh, or this one. I think it's a bit boring. So I'm actually probably gonna go for this one. It just feels a lot of dead space over this side, but I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe if I move it down slightly, don't know, hard to tell. I'll tweak it and see what I can do with it. But this is the one I think I'm gonna go for. Whilst I am editing, I'm also um, sitting here watching the final of the CSGO tournament that's currently on. Um, Ash was watching it. I don't necessarily massively follow it, but I like will watch it when it's on, so I quite like it. So I've got that on there. Um, got the media encoder what the media encoder exporting the film here I quite like it because it kind of gives you um, it is a bit faster I find than just going for Premiere Pro but it also gives you like a time limit of when it will be done which is quite good 
Um, and then I've just got my clips over here. On all th I don't know if we showed you that I've got an extra monitor, but we now have three. So I can close this, because I don't need this anymore. And then this is working on here. And then I'm gonna watch this on here, or I might go watch it at Ash in the Lounge. Um, and then just wait for this to be done, and then I will upload it as a little dinosaur. And I'll upload this um, on the channel tonight. So I think I'm gonna end the video here because I'm really tired. Um, and I'm probably just gonna maybe have an apple, watch this tournament and then get ready for bed. So I'm sorry it's not been a very eventful weekend this weekend, but hopefully we will do something cool next weekend. Well, I know we are doing lots of cool things next weekend, so that's fine. Um, I've actually got loads of stuff planned. So I will see you next weekend. Bye. Oh, actually no, I'll see you on Friday for like a main sit down video then next weekend, technically next Monday. Never mind, just never mind, carry on. <laughs>